Imagine that you and I are on a mission to fall into a black hole. And we have some imaginary spaceship that can take us as far and as fast as we want. So a black hole, it's, it's interesting that the idea or the first glimpse of them theoretically came very shortly after Einstein's theory of gravity was published in 1915. Although it wasn't recognized as such at the time, this glimpse. But um, essentially, what, what does Einstein's theory do? It's important for what follows. It's a theory of space and time and how space time which is often described as the fabric of the universe, responds, warps or curves, to matter and energy in the, in the universe. So the, the, the equations, basically the theory that Einstein published all those years ago, will say, give me some distribution of matter, some, something like a ball of matter, and the equations will tell you how the fabric of the universe is distorted. And by the way, the force of gravity in that theory then is the response of everything else in the universe to that distortion. So Einstein would say, what are we feeling now? Newton would say it's a force between us and the Earth, right? But Einstein would say there isn't a force. What we're responding to the distortion in the fabric of the universe created by the Earth. 